Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R.L. Dunlap Jr. coming unto you one more time with the only infallible, the only uncompromising, the only unadulterated written word of God. We bring you greetings from God the Father and from the Father's Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the Scripture. We greet you all today. Hallelujah. Notice I never tell you I greet you in the name of nobody at church. Notice I never say that. Because the, nobody church sent me, nobody church ordained me to preach. Jesus ordained me and put me in the ministry. Not the church. Not the church of God Christ, no other church. I know. Wait a minute. What you ordained in the church of God Christ? Yeah, in the church of God Christ, but they didn't ordain me to preach. And I'm sure, I'm, and I'm sure if they had their way, they'll take that ordination back. And they still may. <laughs> but it, it's a honey, it, it's still some saints. Everybody ain't backslid. All right. You got to, man, Luke chapter, let's read it. Luke chapter 14. This is my, my thought. You got to hate the Church of God in Christ, Baptist, Methodist, Apostolic Faith, Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, Truth of God, Episcopal, Non-Nomination, Pentecostal. You got to hate every church. I say you got to hate every church. For ain't no church right, but the truth, the running on true church, which is the body of Christ. That's the only church right. That's the only true church. You got to hate your church. You got to hate your pastor. You got to hate your bishop. Or else you cannot be Jesus' disciple. In the book of Luke chapter 14, Beginning with verse 25. Luke chapter 14, 25. And down went great multitudes with Jesus. And he turned. Turn, you know they fought. You know, you know when he fought father, you every now and then you gotta turn around and talk to him. And he turned and said unto them. Now, you want to be a disciple? You, you say you're a disciple? You think you're a disciple? We're going to show you whether you're not a disciple of Jesus Christ. If any man, that, that mean any man, that, that mean any man, that mean any man, that include everybody and ex nobody if any man come to me come to Jesus my God when you come to Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is going to tell you what you must do to be saved Sadly, in some of, in some of these church buildings and assembly, you, you, you go there, they're going to tell you what you must do to not be saved. They're going to tell you uh, to continue to sin. It's all, it's all right. Like that false prophet Bishop Shelby in the church of God in Christ. I, I put that post he did 
on my page. Gee, you go to Jesus, Jesus ain't gonna tell you, ain't nobody perfect. You go to Jesus, Jesus ain't gonna tell you, ain't nobody without sin. You go to Jesus, Jesus ain't gonna tell you, ain't nobody got no heaven and hell to put you in. You go to Jesus, Jesus ain't gonna tell you, can't nobody judge you. Jesus ain't gonna tell you, if, uh, don't worry about sin, because Jesus paid the price, paid the penalty for your sin. Jesus ain't gonna tell you nothing like that. You gonna pay the penalty for your sin. For the wedge of the sin is death. Whosoever believe it is baptized shall be saved. Whosoever believe it not shall be damned. You won't pay the penalty for your sin. If any man come after me, you come to Jesus. See, pastor may let you off the hook, call you his son, and uh, you his daughter, or you his wife, or you first lady. Or you his buddy and you pay big tithes and big offerings, he may let you off the hook. He'll tell you, go on smoke cigarettes. <laughs> if any man come to me, that time I come to Jesus. Let me Paul right there. Let me Paul right there. And I want you to go to Matthew chapter 3. You, you won't learn this in your church. Matthew chapter 3. And verse 20. You didn't come to Jesus Christ. I'm, I'm sorry. John chapter 3 and verse 20. Hallelujah. I want you to get so mad until you repent of your sins. Get mad at the devil. For lying to you all these years. Look what Jesus said. You came to Jesus? Oh, I came to Jesus as I was. Let's see if you came to Jesus. You watching me in the attention. You folk not perfect. You folk that still got sin. Let's see if you came to Jesus. Look what Jesus said. John 3.20 for everyone that doeth evil hate the light. You know what see we know what evil is? Sin. Everyone that doeth evil hate the light, neither cometh to the light. You didn't come to the light. No, you didn't. Lest indeed should be reproved. When you come to Jesus, you will be corrected. Your deeds will be reproved. Your evil, you won't have evil deeds no more when you come to Jesus. Now you can still sit on a deacon boat and be a elder and be a bishop and be a presiding bishop and break all Jesus' commandments and continue to do evil. In such God Christ. In Baptist, in Apostolic Faith, in Methodist. Jesus said you didn't come to the light. Now somebody said God delivered. Alright, go back. Luke. Praise our God. What was that? Was it 12? I'm turning away from it. Mm, mm, mm. Here it is. Luke 14. Back to Luke 14. If any man come to me, Jesus said. Look at what Jesus said. And hate not his father. You got to hate your father. Now, don't, don't, you turn, don't you turn this off. We're going to give you a good understanding of what you're talking about. And mother. And wife. And children. And brethren. And sisters. Yea, and hate his own life. You got to hate your own life. You got to hate yourself. 
he cannot be my disciple. Now, what that mean? Watch it. And whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. The cross. You got to bear your cross. The cross means, the cross is suffering, pain, abuse. The cross is what people going to do to you. The cross is people going to nail it. Carry your cross now because you're going to need it. Carry your insurance. You're going to need it because they're going to kill you and they're going to nail you to the cross. The devil and his people going to nail you to the cross. Pain and suffering and tribulation and abuse. But did Jesus say bless them that curse you and do all manner of evil against you? Did Jesus say they're going to stone you? They're going to put you out of the God. Did Jesus say they're going to put some of you in prison? They're going to kill some of you? For my sake, for Jesus' sake. They say, talk about killing nobody because they ain't leave you nothing in the wheel. Or because they won't change their insurance policy. They say, talk about that. They say, talk about killing somebody because of the color of their skin. They say that. They say, Sherry, they say, talk about killing your parents and hating your parents because they won't let you have your way. Hard headed. This ain't talking about that. This ain't talking about killing them for some evil. This ain't talking about that. It's a for Christ's sake. Which means they are going to try to stop you from being a disciple of Christ. They, some, not all. They are going to try to stop you from preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're going to try to stop you. <laughs> what that song that both that, that both song uh, uh cut? Oh, you can't stop me. Please don't block me. Move out of my way. And don't try to stop me. I got a race to run. And I'm running by faith at the finishing line. I see it fade. You can't, you can't stop, you can't stop me. But if your family, the same thing go for you, the church of God in Christ, and Baptist and Mess and your bishop, and your presiding bishop. The same thing. They they gonna try to stop you from preaching the truth. You gotta hate them. You gotta preach the truth. What what you what you talking about? Wait a minute. Well, the Bible, the the the, the Bible, we, we in the church of God. I, I had some more of the con. I was preaching some way, and, and we said something. Hallelujah! We said the truth, and it, it upset somebody, and they called me on the phone, and they made you watch. Now he called their name. They said you said something, and 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 you you said something, and 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 and. and and you know, we don't teach that. I'm going to tell you what I said. I said, I said, Jesus is not God. Jesus is the Son of God. Well, you know, we believe He is Him. We believe that in one God eternal is in three persons. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. That's what we believe. Statement of faith. Well, statement of faith is not the Bible. Jesus is the Son of God. God sent his Son. Remember, God sent his Son. 
They call him Jesus. He came to say to heal and forgive. He blood and died. Just by my pardon. And you'll be great to prove my Savior live. God sent his son. God sent his son. God sent his son. God didn't come down here. God sent his son. God so loved the world that he gave. Jesus said, I came from my father. When Jesus rolled, Jesus told Mary, touch me not. Let's get that. Oh, but, but, you, but, but you believe what, what state of the faith say. I preach the Bible. I don't preach no church of God Christ. Church of God Christ didn't die for me. Watch this. Go to him. I, I won't let my God. Go to John. You, you don't believe Jesus. Go to John. Uh, here it is. John 20 17. You apostolic faith. Jesus is God. Jesus the Father. Do you believe the Bible? Do you believe Jesus? John 20 and 17. This is after Jesus rose. Look what Jesus said. Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. But y'all said, Jesus is the father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father and to my God. And your God, Jesus said that. But you said, oh, Jesus, God. You got to believe, you got to preach what the scripture said, not no statement of faith. You got to preach what the scripture said, not no one and only plan, plan of damnation. Jesus, God, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, them titles. Who is the Father? God. Who in the song? Jesus Christ. Who in the Holy Ghost? The Comforter. But you commit abomination and say, oh, those are titles. You got to hate you. If, if your church and your pastor and your bishop say that and teach that, which is contrary to the word of God, you supposed to do something to them. Galatians 1 8, let them be a curse. Romans chapter 16, verse 17, mark them that call division and teach contrary to the doctrine. Galatians 1, the Apostle Paul said, uh, it, it pleased the father who separated me from my mother's womb to reveal his son unto me. You say I baptized Jesus' name. No, you ain't baptized Jesus' name. You wasting your time. No, you ain't. You don't believe him. You don't believe he was the son of God. You ain't baptized Jesus' name. You a lying lie. You don't believe God raised him from the dead.
You know, you ain't baptized in Jesus' name for a mission of your sin. You still in your sin because you don't believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God. All right. You got to say what the Bible said. All right. All right, you Antichrist. You church of God, Christ Antichrist. You apostate faith in every other church. You say, we got to bring God his offering in tithes. You are a lying antichrist demon. Christ the end of the law for righteousness. Hebrew chapter 10. It burned off in sacrifice for sin thou have no pledge. Hebrew chapter 7. It's over. It's over. That was New Testament. That was the Old Testament. Oh, but you can't preach that because that go against what your church believe. You don't hate your church. You got to hate your church and hate your bishop and hate your pastor and hate yourself. You don't want to do it because you don't want to be hated by your church. You don't even hate yourself. Yeah, it's going to hurt me. Yeah, I'm not going to be in the brotherhood. No, yeah, I'm not going to be in a, in, in a Tennessee Baptist Ministerial Association. No, I ain't gonna be, I'm not going to be in any crowd in the grand old church of God in Christ. Wait a minute. Presiding bishop and your bishops bring fault, no fault prophet among you. When the body the Bible said, don't let them in your house. Don't be them God's speed. But the presiding bishop, come on in. You can't say nothing. You can't say nothing. Now, true saints say it so. <laughs> Hallelujah. You got to hate your church. If your church say that, with the scripture don't say you got to call your church a lie and your bishop a lie. You got to preach it if they come to, if they come and communicate you. If they tell you you can't preach that here, you got to hate them and keep preaching. Let them put you out. <laughs> uh, well, they going to silence you. You crazy. Let them try. You mean you can? You mean a bishop can silence you from preaching the gospel? Is that what you're trying to tell me? You crazy? You out your rabbit mind? They tried that with Peter and John when they told them, "Don't preach nor teach no more in that name." And they threatened them, and they beat them, and they put them in jail. But they said, "When we obey God, a man, you be the judge." Twenty twenty vision. All oh, everybody say they a lying devil. You are a liar. What's the vision? I asked the question. What's the? Cause by the vision. Tell me the vision. I wait. I wait. I wait. You can't tell it because you're lying. Excuse me. Everybody get up and say if you want a miracle. I right, sold by your hundred dollar seed. Bay your twenty five dollar C. Bay your twenty twenty V to C. But you can't say nothing because your church do that. You gotta speak against it. And your church gotta hear you speak against it. They gotta hear you speak against it. Yeah, they need to be saved. They gotta know they wrong. So they be saved. You you gotta hate your church. Uh, oh yeah Christ ain't no law for right to say Christ ain't no law you, you don't know that Galatians 5 said you fall from grace Christ has become of no effect to you whosoever you are that are justified by the law you have fallen from grace you backslid the second chapter of Galatia, uh, don't I don't frustrate the grace of Christ Come on, I got to keep the law. 
I'm not putting a yoke around the disciples' neck. That, the law ain't Jesus' yoke. <laughs> that yoke was hard. <laughs> the law. Whew. You got to hey, You got to If any if, if, look, look, I know a pastor. He dead now. He said what we said when Jesus called him a priest. His wife said, I don't want to be married to no priest. He said he had a decision to make. Is he going to go with God or go with his wife? You, you, you preach again? Your, your husband might say, I don't, I don't, I don't want to be mad at no proper test. You preaching the truth and tearing out everything not like God, causing me embarrassment. They may leave you. Before we go there, in the uh, 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 20th chapter of John, Jesus asked Peter, Peter, do you love me more than these? Feed my sheep. That means you got to give them the gospel. Forget about what these said. You do what I said. Go to Corinthians. Let's show you what may happen. My God, Corinthians 7 chapter. You know where I'm going. Now they plan to go here. First Corinthians 7 chapter. And we're going we're gonna to knock off. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Glory to God all day. Fourteen. Fourteen. This may happen to you. And twelve. First Corinthians 7 12. Listen. But the rest speak I, not the Lord. If a brother have a wife that believe it not, and she be pleased to dwell with him, let him not put her away. If she please dwell with now, you please dwell with me now, you ain't gonna have me sleeping on the couch. I'm not gonna be in the doghouse. You still gonna love me. You gonna love me, baby. You please dwell with me. You will be cussing me out, and hit me upside my head, disrespecting me. If you please dwell with me, let it not put her away. And the woman would have a husband that believe not. Your husband ain't saying. And if he be pleased to dwell with her, same thing. You gonna take care of your children. You gonna take care of me. You'll be kind and nice to me. You ain't gonna have me in the doghouse. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna quit giving me some. You still gonna give me some. You still gonna break me off. And we're going to be happy. If you please dwell. Now, if you ain't please dwell, you're going to act up and everything. You please dwell. You ain't going to cheat on me. Let her not leave him. If you please dwell, he ain't hurting you. Why you leave? For the unbelieving is hub is sanctified by the wife, and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the hub. Else were your children unclean, but now they're holy. Wait a minute. 15. But if they are believing the part, they may leave you. A brother or sister is not on the bondage in such cases. You're no longer on the bondage. You free. And you all write me no letter. You, you got to hate your church, your bishop, your nomination. Hate, hate your con, your church constitution. If they don't want you to preach the truth, they don't want you to preach the truth. You got to hate them and love God. Go with God. But if you turn back, remember Lot's wife. 
He didn't do it to the end, shall be saved. If you turn back, you're going to be lost. You got to hate your church. They use conversion. You got to be converted. Converted. They don't know what, even know what converted is. Act 318, 317, 318, 319. Repent ye and be converted that your sin may be blotted out. Ain't no converted without repentance. Well, don't worry about what. Sell the morning bank and stay until you feel something. Give God the heart in the preacher your hand. They'll pay your dues. They'll pay your tithes off. You'll be all right. Uh -huh. You got to love God, love the preacher of God. Yeah, yeah anything lies to happen to you. Anything. They'll, 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 don't fall properly in the of God in Christ. They're baptism, Methodist, but they're going to leave you alone. I had an elder. He said, I got a, I, I got a degree in ministry. What that mean? A man gave you that. I got a degree in ministry. He said, I can't, I, I can't see what you preaching. I gave him scripts. Ha! 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 All right. All right. Now, I have an email. You all that want to, don't want to conversate on Facebook. I have an email. Robert Dunlap, 1988, at gmail.com, and Robert Dunlap, 1959. I don't do much talking on the telephone because I go on and on and on and on and on. But ask your question. You don't want to ask on Facebook? Ask your question. Ask your question. Now let me say this. Hebrew real life, don't waste my time. Give a life. <laughs> All right. God bless you. You got to hate your church. And just for the record, there are those in your assembly that say that living right, living holy. Oh, you don't believe it? In pride, I had someone calling me in pride. You tell, you telling the truth. I tried to tell them from a church I came from, but they, they were busy with the They didn't want to hear that. They fall prophets. I don't care if they didn't touch God Christ. Definitely. Thank you for being